Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and in this video, I'll share with you guys my unboxing and my review of the Huawei MateBook 14. So keep watching. Now the Huawei MateBook 14 comes in a white box with the Huawei MateBook series text in the middle and the Huawei logo at the top right. Opening the box from the top, you'll find the accessories such as the USB-C to USB-C cable. The 65 watt USB-C charging adapter that could also be supercharged with compatible Huawei supercharged smartphones like Huawei and also from Honor. You'll find the warranty leaflet and the quick start guide. And of course, the laptop itself. Now let's look at the specs. The Huawei MateBook 14 comes with two processor options, either the AMD Ryzen 7 4800H processor or the AMD Ryzen 5 4600H processor. It has an integrated AMD Radeon graphics and in Malaysia, there's a single variant of an option of 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM and 512 gigs of PCIe SSD storage. Now, in terms of the color options in Malaysia, it comes with just the single space grey color variant, which I am reviewing right here. Now, look at the design and build. It comes with a premium sleek metal looking finish, which is built by a high strength aluminium body, making it not only strong, but also aesthetically pleasing as well. I was quite surprised by its weight at only 1.49 kgs, which makes this just the right amount of weight to bring it on the go. Now, although the laptop has a low profile, it has a thinner and denser fins that produce better airflow to maintain a better cooling even under load and at the same time making the laptop run pretty quiet as well. Now, the typing experience on the laptop was great where it had just the right amount of tactile feel with a chiclet style of keys and typing on it immediately made me feel like I was at home even though I'm used to a mechanical keyboard. And the keyboard is also backlit enabled. Then there's also a fingerprint scanner at the top right, which of course unlocks pretty fast for great security. Then the trackpad was also solid as well. It was quite sturdy and very responsive indeed. And it was wide enough to fit four of my fingers perfectly as well. And what's new is that instead of tapping at the side of the laptop for the multi-screen collaboration, which I'll talk about more later, the Huawei share tag is now built in into the trackpad itself. Now, as for the laptop spots, looking on the left, there's a fully functional USB-C that could be used not only to charge the laptop, but also to plug in any additional accessories or even an external display. Then there's also a two-in-one microphone and headphones jack, which was nice. Then there's also the HDMI 1.4B port over there. Then on the right, there are two USB-A version 3.2. Now, as for the laptop screen, this is hands down the most appealing feature of the laptop. So I'm going to be a bit more technical here. First, as the name suggests, it is a 14 inch laptop, which comes with a 2K full view display with a high resolution of 2160 by 1440 resolution and a PPI value of 185. It has a 1500 by one contrast ratio with a maximum brightness of 300 nits and also 100% sRGB white color gamut which means that not only it has a beautiful and high quality screen but it also has an amazing color accuracy making it great not only for editing photos and videos especially during color correction and grading process but also when it comes to watching movies as well now speaking of watching movies, it has a built-in hardware eye comfort mode which is TV Rainland certified that blocks excessive blue light that reduces eye fatigue and on top of that, the screen also has a multi-touch support as well, making it easier to navigate, to adjust tiny little details when doing content creation or even when it comes to navigating on websites and of course, navigating on your smartphone through the multi-screen feature as well. Then the overall screen real estate had a great 90% screen to body ratio with a very minimal bezels at 4.9mm even at the top area as the webcam is built in inside of the keyboard which to me is quite a controversial place because 
As much as I appreciate the better screen real estate and the thought of technology that Huawei had in mind in this, being a content creator and having the camera facing below you is not the most flattering angle so for me, I would rather use an external webcam instead. Now as for audio, the laptop has a dual 2 watt speakers underneath. Now don't be fooled by its tiny little size over here because it surely packs a punch at 93.5 dB loudness and here is a quick sound test. Now in terms of software, firstly it is shipped with Windows 10 Home 64 and here's where I go into highlighting a bit more over here as this is one of the biggest differentiator compared to other laptops available out right now. So I've mentioned multi-screen collaboration twice before here in this video and yes that would be one of the greatest features of the laptop where to access this feature you'll need to enable Huawei Share and NFC on your smartphone and then just tap your smartphone on the trackpad like this then you'll have your smartphone screen on the laptop itself where you can scroll through your phone through your laptop screen, share files and do plenty of file sharing options through the PC manager which I've done tons of videos here on YouTube about the multi-screen collaboration which I'll link at the card above if you'd like to go into detail on that. So as a content creator, I tried video editing and I was pleasantly surprised that I got to edit 6K resolution ProRes 422 files on DaVinci Resolve without any drop of frames. Now this gives me another great option to do video editing and color grading on the go. When we can travel in year 3000. <coughs> And finally, since I've purchased Forza Motorsport 7, gaming was really smooth at rendering quality at low and gaming resolution at 1280 by 720p. Now as for the laptop's battery, it has a 56 watt hour battery where it comes with a 65 watt charger inside of the box as mentioned earlier where Huawei claims up to 10 hours of continuous local 1080p video playback where I got about a day's use with medium to high usage using for spreadsheets, watching videos and playing some music and games as well. So that was great to know. And since there is a fast charging option, you can get close to 3 hours with a charge of only 15 minutes which is of course a huge plus. Now in conclusion, Huawei keeps getting better at producing yet another great laptop which has no compromise when it comes to the design aesthetics, great performance and not to mention giving you such extra device integration especially if you already gotten a Huawei smartphone without spending so much on a laptop. Now as for the laptop's price here in Malaysia, the Huawei MateBook 14 R5 without the touchscreen is going for 3,799 ringgit and the R7 variant which is with the touchscreen is going for 4,399 ringgit and the pre-order starts from today until the 29th of October and there will be freebies worth 1,177 ringgit including the laptop bag, the Bluetooth mouse and the Huawei FreeBuds 3 while stocks last and it will be available at the Huawei store and the Huawei Experience stores or HES from the 30th October onwards. So guys, with this, do let me know what you guys think of the Huawei MateBook 14 down at the comment section below and if you have any questions as well, let me know and I'll revert back over there as usual. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Nice for the phones. Hello? Bye. <laughs> Such a big phone I have, huh? Mm. Nice for the laptops. Now, as for the laptop screen, let me unlock it first. Can you see it? Yes, you can.